Hey gang, this is Mike with my real estate dojo. And today we're gonna to be talking about the three profit zones in owner financing. And I know if you're an investor or a realtor or even just a buyer, you've been on Craigslist and you've seen people that says, hey, owner financing or rent to own and they want a down payment and they want a monthly payment. And you're wondering, well, how does that work? Okay, so this lesson is about explaining to you the three profit zones for owner financing homes. The number one thing I want to explain to you is that when you do owner financing, you don't need to own the house clear and clear. And this is such a very important idea that I want you to understand. You do not need to own the house clear and clear. So when you do owner financing, you could actually have a mortgage on the home. It's called the under, underlying note. So that said, let's go ahead and explain and pull the curtains back and talk about owner financing and three ways where you can make money with owner financing. The first step is that the down payment that you're gonna require uh, the retail buyer. Most retail buyers that are willing to do owner financing, they don't, can't qualify for an FHA loan or a conventional loan. And the reason for that is maybe they have bad credit, maybe they're small business owners, so whatever it may be. And your goal is to find good people that fell off the horse and they're close, and, they, and they're and they trying to get back on the horse and have great credit and be a owners, okay? So when you do owner financing, you don't wanna put deadbeats in the property. You don't wanna put people that don't care about their credit. You, you wanna put people that actually uh, care about the credit, but just can't qualify or they're inches away from qualifying. So going back to the story, there's three zones for profits in owner financing. And the first step is the down payment. Whenever you do an owner financing on your property, you're gonna require a good chunk of money down, 10, 20, 30, depends on the property, okay? So that's your profit zone number one. What I like next is the monthly cash flow, which is profit zone number two. You get a cash flow. Let's assume that you own the property not clear and clear. What I mean by that is you have a loan on the property and your interest rate to your underlying mortgage, let's say Bank of America in this case, is 3%, okay, or 4%, whatever it may be. Whenever you, you sell your house owner financing uh, and you wrap it, you're gonna charge that retail buyer two or three percent higher than what your original loan to Bank of America is. So let's say in this scenario, I have a house and I have a mortgage on it with Bank of America and my interest rate on that 30 year note is three percent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna owner finance it through a wrap strategy. If you don't know what a wrap is, watch my previous videos on my YouTube channel. But so again, I'm gonna, my underlying note with Bank of America is 3%. I'm gonna turn around and sell it to a retail buyer through a wrap. And at this time, my interest rate to Bank of America was 3%. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the buyer at 8% or 9%. So. I'm making a spread, let's say it was, if it was 3%, I'm giving it to nine. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm making 6% or you could do 5% or 3% or 2% or 1%, whatever you, you want, okay? And the power is that now I'm getting a monthly cash flow from what my underlying mortgage was, what my interest was, and what I wrapped it around and sold it to the buyer and what it is to him. So mine was originally 3%, I wrapped it and I'm selling it at 9%. So I'm getting the spread, the difference every month, month after month, 10 years, five years, 20 years. So whenever Buy it decides to cash me out, I'm getting that monthly cash flow. So in this story, being a note holder or doing owner financing, there's three phases of cash flow. Number one was the down payment. Number two was the monthly cash flow, which I personally love. And then number three is gonna be the back end profit zone. Uh, what do I mean by the back end? Let's say that I sold the property for 100,000, okay? Uh, 
and then once the buyer tries to cash me out, I'm gonna get that remaining money, the principal balance that he hasn't paid for at closing. So let's say the buyer gets a loan from me and he's on this, I do owner financing, he puts 20 grand down, which is phase one of profits. Then he pays me for 10 years monthly. My monthly payments, let's say it's 1300 bucks. So he's paying me 1300 bucks. Out of that 1300 bucks, let's say I'm profiting 500 bucks every month into my pocket as a monthly cash flow because after I service my underlying mortgage, the Bank of America, which is 3%, the remaining percentage goes right into my pocket. So that buyer retail buyer has paid me 10 years of payment services and then after 10 years he's gonna cash me out he's gonna go to Wells Fargo and get a loan and pay me for my remaining uh, balance principal balance that he hasn't paid and that is your stage 3 profit zone where he's gonna cash you out that 80,000 because you put 20,000 and he's paid a bunch of 10 years of monthly payment will be less than 80,000 but not much less and the reason is is because of the amortization uh, that the banks choose and since I'm a bank now and I'm doing owner financing I'm capitalized on the amortization and if you don't know what the amortization is is that when you get a loan let's say from any bank the first few years that you make the monthly payments to is all going to interest 90% of it is going to interest so what happens is that the banks are getting rich and you're not paying that principal reduction the same story just happened to my retail buyer after 10 years of pain he's still gonna be paying me off almost 80,000 maybe 76,000 75,000 maybe 70,000 you know because the first few payments that he made for the first few years like six years seven years are all going towards interest and then small amount of uh, principal reduction so let me sum it, summarize it right back up guys this is the reason why I love owner financing and being a note holder. There's three pocket zones of profit. You get the first lump sum of money as a down payment. You get your monthly cash flow month after month. And then you also get your in uh, back end profits, which is going to be the big chunk of the money. Now, here's another reason why I love owner financing. I, I made a video about it a couple of days ago is that you're not you're, you're holding a note. You're not holding the property. Somebody else owns the property. You're just a note holder. You're just like a Bank of America. Okay. Since you own the note, you don't you you don't own that property, so you don't have to deal with all the bullshit that goes down with the property, like the AC breaking, plumbing breaking. If you're a buy and hold guy like me and a landlord, you don't have to deal with deadbeat renters. When you're a note holder, you don't have to sweat that small stuff because that's not your property. The only time you have to sweat it or start, you know, sweating it is that if your retail buyer does not start making the monthly payments to you. And at that time, what happens is then you hire an attorney, you go ahead and foreclose on that retail buyer, and then you, you take your property back. Now, I don't recommend that, but that's just wor worst case scenario that you do foreclosure because I like to create win-win situations and help everybody out. So I do all my hard work up front so I can put good tenant buyers in there, um, retail buyers are going to actually cash me out because I, I make most of my money at the back end and I make a lot of money in, in the monthly cash flow and I do make money up front but again the majority of the money is going to come in from the back end because that's where the big profit's at. So I want to make sure that I put good people in there and that's what my advice is to you, put good people in there. But worst case scenario as a note holder is the only time you're sweating it or you're having stress in your life is when that retail buyer, tenant buyer does not make payments to you. If they're making payments to you, great. If, that make, if they're not making payments to you, that's when you stre stress it a little bit. But then, you know, again, you can foreclose on them, take the property back and start all over. You, you, you know, you, you're at a very safe positioning without having all the liabilities of the plumbing, the AC, taxes, city violations. Let me give you an example. I, I own a house by White Rock Lake that I rent out. And man, and, the, and that city code enforcement is there on my ass because they know it's a company owned business. Uh, and they're always giving us tickets for like the grass being high. And, and it's really not high. The guy has a grudge. I think maybe the guy 
has a family member in the area that cuts grass. But if I was a note holder on, on this scenario, I wouldn't have to deal with it. The owners would have to deal with that fucking code, uh, city code violator enforcer instead of me. I'm just holding the note, okay guys? Uh, so end the story. Owner finance is a great opportunity for people that want to sit back and not get their hands dirty, unlike being a landlord. Again, let me summarize it up. Three profit zones. Your down payment, your monthly cash flow, and the end profit at the end. Now guys, if you like these videos, if you feel like I'm giving value to you, please like, please share, please comment. Now, if you really think you, I can help you reach your goals, or you've been watching my videos and you're like, man, damn, Mike's giving me some great ideas and I've been using them, I'm getting results. Imagine what you could do if I'm coaching you. Come join my smart coaching program. It's a performance base, which means that if you don't make money, I don't make money. I have a vested interest in you to make money so I could make money. And that's why I'm revolutionizing the coaching business because instead of paying me like all the other gurus, thousands of dollars up front, a big, huge amount of money, and say, adios amigos, I hope you do deals, I have a linear interest in you to make money because if you don't make money, then I'm wasting my time. And so, join the smart coaching. I'm very confident I can help you do multiple deals if you're a champ. But if you're a champ, I can't help you to get your mindset right. This is Mike with my Real Estate Dojo Gang. Have a great day. And 2000. See you later.